Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Eden Square. Today I am cleaning my room and I thought why not show you guys how I clean my room and tips and tricks and all that. But just a disclaimer, my room is never this dirty. I swear I was taking everything out of my closet and doing like a big deep clean. So it is never this dirty, like I said, I promise. But anyways, I like to just start off cleaning my room by making my bed because I feel like the bed's definitely like the centerpiece of my room. So I feel like I always have a good foundation when my bed is all clean and also you can put like your clothes on it and boxes and all that stuff. So just gonna take a quick power nap and finish my bed. Okay, so now that my room is my room, my bed, now that my bed is made and clean, I am going to head on over to, I don't know what I call this part of the room, but it's just the end of my bed and this is where I took all my stuff out of the closet and it just kind of accumulated right here. So I'm mostly throwing a lot of it away. Um, some of it's gonna go back in my closet when it's clean, but I don't know. I always feel like I have a hard time staying like on Task. Like I would just get distracted and then like I looked in my memory box and start like playing with things so Yeah, this took me a little while But anyways, I like I said mostly threw most of it away and then just kind of like put in piles like what I needed and what I wasn't Keeping and like there's all my shoes and Arlo was like peace out. I'm out of here Anyways, so then I also <laughs> filled up my humidifier. Sorry my diffuser my essential oil diffuser but once I got most of that area clean, I decided to put my shoes in, in my closet, not on the floor, in the closet where they belong. But I just tidied up this area, put my shoes all away. Also, I lost a shoe and I have no idea where it is. So rest in peace, this missing shoe. But anyways, all my shoes are put away and this half of the closet doesn't look bad. I still wish it was like a little neater, but you know what? It looks good enough, you know? So next, I'm just putting away all my laundry. And as of now, I put all my shirts and hoodies and stuff over on this side. But that's going to change because I'm going to move my hoodies and sweaters to the right side of my closet. Because I just feel like there's too much over here, you know? So as of right now, I have a shelf in my closet that I put like my pants. Uh, this is the left. No, this is the right side now. But this is where I put like my pants, my shorts and stuff like that. But I actually end up moving it and getting a different shelf, which you'll see I build. But that's, that's that for now now so I'm just heading over to my desk I always clean in this order also by the way like always clean in this order Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I do a lot of like journaling and drawing and bullet journaling. So I have lots of colored pencils and pens and markers and stuff. And I had them in these little like long rectangular like storage things, but I didn't really like the way they looked. So I decided I was like, oh, hey, I'll get some like mason jars and put them in there. But I literally had so many markers in this like one Crayola thing that I would have had to have like seven mason jars and I just thought it looked like cluttered and tacky you know so your girl came up with this genius DIY I actually cut the box into the shape that I wanted it to be in so I did like kind of this like angle on the side and made it look nice and trimmed and pretty and I took the excess paper from my desk because my desk actually has this like plastic coating over it for the marble and I covered the sides in it and like I know it's a lot of marble okay like I'm pushing the marble limits but I really like marble and like my computer case is already marble so I was like you know what YOLO might as well cover the box in marble so that I can just keep them all stacked in order and like um hello look how freaking cute this is I am just DIY queen over here like honestly I seriously love this so much I didn't do the back because it's gonna be covered by the wall like it's gonna be against the wall anyway so I figured you know what like it's fine so now that my desk is all clean and pretty I'm heading over to my tree and I have to trim it like every two weeks because the end of the leaves start to die it's a very high maintenance plant like trust me I, I would not get this plant again honestly just saying but also it needs to be sprayed every day like <laughs> 
anyways so I just trim this up and then my desk area is all super clean and I think it's really important to have my desk area clean because like this is where I do school and editing so very important to have a clean space okay so next I'm just moving on to my bedside area and I always find that like I so I have this little tray here and I feel like I always just put stuff on it and clutter collects so it's I just clean it off every once in a while and make sure I only have stuff on it that I want so I'm just dusting off this area making sure it's all clean because also my fans right above this so like it collects a lot of dust trust me so once that is done I just put all my stuff back on and make it look nice and neat and pretty and organized and I've got my lip balm and lotions and BAM look how pretty it is also ignore my finger in the bottom corner so next is my little sitting area and this never was really too dirty sometimes I just have some clothes so usually I just have to like clear that off and like turn my fairy lights on and I usually just store my backpack on it because I think it looks cute with the yellow and the backpack's yellow so you know it works but like I said this is never really like that dirty so I just kind of fluffed the pillows and made it look nice okay so I really did not like this side of my closet like I just thought it looked really cluttery and I didn't like it so I decided to take everything out and here are some old drawings that I did they're all 21 pilots theme <laughs> yes the click love it anyways so I decided to take everything out and I was like I need to redo this side of my closet so this shelf is too big I don't use it like I don't use all the cubbies and I just think it looks too tacky and I just I don't like it so I took it out and bought a smaller little shelf but I actually ended up not even liking that shelf so you'll see in a second I spent all this time building it and I didn't even like the shelf it's tragic I know but anyways so what I, I, I didn't like so okay so first of all my cubbies didn't even fit in it and I thought there was like some more compartments in it but it was just like three long squares and I really didn't like it so I got another shelf yay Okay, so then I also had this little hangy thing that I thought was going to be like such a lifesaver and cool. And I was like, oh, I'll put my pants in here and stuff. Didn't like it. Also thought it looked tacky. So the next day I went and actually bought a shelf that I liked and it was a three by two cubby. And this is exactly what I wanted because I wanted to be able to put my clothes on this side. So like I said, it's so the next day. Also, please ignore the fact that my shirt is literally inside out. It's fine. We're just going to move on. But anyways, I put a pole across uh, my shelf so that I could hang like my hoodies and sweaters over here because like I said, there were too many clothes on the left side. So I wanted to space them out a bit. And I have to say, I really really liked how this turned out I feel like it looks a lot better a lot less cluttery and I just it, it worked <laughs> so once I got my closet all cleaned I just picked the rest of the excess stuff off my floor and like I said I threw most of it away but here is my clean room also I replaced my Christmas tree with my plant again because like it's February I figured I should probably get rid of my Christmas tree but anyways here's my closet all organized and like I said I really like it a lot better than before I hung my hats up just kind of tidied up my makeup and like lotions and stuff hung my backpacks back up and here's my little sitting area. Also, I clean my carpet. <laughs> Go me. Um, like I said, I just feel like it's, you know, really good to just do like a really big deep clean every once in a while because I feel like I seem to collect a lot of things that I don't necessarily need, including clothes. And I ended up throwing away about two garbage bags of stuff in my room. So very proud about that. But I just love the outcome of a clean room. And I hope you guys like seeing my cleaning experience, how I clean. Um, maybe give you guys some inspirations for some organizing and stuff, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what let's see what how often do you clean your room? That's what I want to know. That's the question. How often do you clean your room? So let me know and I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video. Bye guys